Vita is not content to rest on their accomplishments of the past and their products of the present. At Vita, we pride ourselves on planning for the future. By looking ahead and building on our many achievements in the field of dentistry, we continue to pioneer a steady stream of advances. Our goal is the continual development of innovative, aesthetic, and reliable products. By providing the ultimate in quality products, Vita fuels sweeping changes in the dental industry. Vita Blocks is one of those products, providing a solid foundation for those in the dental industry seeking to build on their success and wanting to establish a reputation for reliable expertise by providing a product that features the appropriation of only the finest compositions that harness the highest standards of technology available for their craft. These are indeed the building blocks to a better future. In 1986, Vitas on Fabric and the developers of the CEREC system joined forces to literally create the field of professional machinable ceramics. Vitas on Fabric has been setting the standards in the dental market since 1924 with their development of denture teeth and dental technical materials and their pioneering techniques that first allowed dentists to fabricate ceramic restorations. Between 1970 and 1980, I taught classes in amalgam and gold inlay technology at the University of Zurich. Patients would repeatedly ask for posterior tooth-colored fillings. Therefore, I asked myself the question, what would be the perfect way to produce such restorations? Composite inlays proved to have inadequate abrasion resistance. This brought me to ceramics, and I asked myself, how can ceramic inlays be produced in a dental practice? I imagined that CAD-CAM technology would be the most suitable for producing ceramic parts. Industrial CAD-CAM is used for mass production of identical parts. Dental CAD-CAM must produce an individual fitted part for each preparation. This is the challenge. To achieve this goal, each preparation must be measured accurately. My friend, Dr. Marco Brandestini, an electronic engineer, was developing ultrasonic scanners at that time. I asked him whether he could help me in scanning dental preparations. We then developed the CEREC-1 camera together. At that time, Vita had sample bodies of Vitador ceramic. I used them for grinding experiments and saw that the ceramic could be ground very well. This was the prerequisite for use in the CAD-CAM technique. The history of the Vita Mark II does not begin with Mark II, but instead with Mark I. This product was developed in the years 1984 and 1985 as a result of Professor Mormon contacting Vita. When the first prototype of the CEREC-1 device was ready for grinding experiments, we contacted Vita and professional development of block ceramics began. These were machine processable extruded ceramic moldings that were used on a patient for the first time as an inlay on September 19, 1985 under the direction of Professor Mormon. Vita was especially suitable as an industrial partner because the head of that company immediately recognized the potential of this new method and personally directed the development. Since then, this fascinating CAD-CAM system has gone on to provide a faster, simpler and better way to design and fabricate all ceramic dental restorations. The proven reliability of Vita Blocks has made it the dominant choice of clinicians around the world and VitaBlox Mark II has become more than a worthy successor. My main concern from the beginning was the quality of CEREC restorations with respect to abrasiveness, stability, strength and durability. Under my direction, Professors Giordano and Kelly succeeded in developing a new material, the Vita Mark II, beginning in the year 1987 in collaboration with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We became interested uh, in the wear of the material. Uh, there, there are not any standardized tests available, so we were sort of using our judgment uh, and actually at one point we had uh, Dr. Teal uh, chew on one of the machine blocks on his canine. Dr. Teal was able to polish uh, a machine surface with his tooth and we'd never seen that performance in, in any ceramic uh, before or, or since. This was really the first material that was developed specifically for a CAD-CAM system. Back when we were doing this work, dentists all believed and most manufacturers believed that wear of opposing teeth related to the hardness of the ceramic. And that turned out not to be the case. I, I had a hunch that it wasn't. I had a hunch that it was going to uh, improve as we scaled down the microstructure. Particle sizes of the Mark II block were in the order of the 10 micron range. 
whereas the particle sizes of the conventional porcelains were 200, 300 microns, or maybe even more in some cases, which made them very abrasive. Uh, so this material is actually way ahead of its time, way back in 1988. And just now, there's a lot of other companies that are trying to refine the particle sizes of their, their porcelains. If you're looking from the perspective of, of the CEREC user today, they've been provided with a product that uh, is far advanced from what would have been available to them 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, and you now have uh, 10, 12 years of clinical research uh, to show them that it's not just me saying this, it's not just Vita saying this, it's colleagues around the world who put the material to the test under clinical con conditions that are coming back and saying, you know, this is working. This isn't wearing opposing teeth, this isn't breaking. Uh, you know, this is a very robust material, it's a very pretty material for its use. If we look at bonding in the Mark II material into the tooth, we're back to about 96% of the original strength of the tooth. If we look at an amalgam, we're only at around 50%. If we look at a composite resin, we're only at about 70% of the original strength of the tooth. So these, these restorative materials, the Mark II blocks, uh, reinforce the tooth to nearly its original value. We have used more than 12 million restorations made of this material. The 10-year results have been very good, as is well known. When Vita puts a mar material on the market, it's going to stay there, it's going to work. There are other companies that are in a two-year cycle of putting new materials out there, but there's often lots of problems with that material functioning properly when it gets onto the marketplace. Even today, uh, under uh, any, any definition you want to apply, it's still an advanced material. The Mark II block is the most wear kind material that we've tested still today. The abrasion properties in Vita Block Mark II are almost identical to those found in natural tooth enamel, and the fine structured ceramic material strength and physical characteristics are well suited for machinability, grinding, and polishing. Many milestones have been traversed in the materials development, which leads to not only Vita producing the only commercially available ceramic block that could be milled by machine, but their continuing diligence and dedication to refine their products to as close as natural teeth is, and still continues to be, their goal. One that provides better dental care and cost savings to doctors and patients with products that go beyond fine structure, strength, and aesthetics. From pioneer to leader in machinable ceramics, the real achievement of our 20 years of experience is having produced more than 11 million Vita blocks for CEREC. A testimonial to the satisfaction of both dentists and their patients. Vita blocks have been the biggest part of my growth with CEREC because they allow me to do anything I want aesthetically with my end result. The benefits for patients are the convenience, to be sure. They can come into the office, have the tooth prepared and completed in one single visit. In addition, they don't have to have that goopy impression that makes them feel like they're suffocating. When they're completed, they end up with a nice aesthetic restoration that blends with their surrounding tooth, doesn't have any metal in it. It looks like a natural tooth when it's all done. So those are all total win-wins for the patient. I couldn't imagine practicing in today's world without a CEREC machine and without beta blocks. It's just been an invaluable tool and it's just changed my whole perspective on dentistry. I couldn't imagine coming to work and, and not being able to have a broken tooth and immediately fix it for somebody that day. With the Vita products, we've been able to accomplish uh, some tremendous things for our patients. Um, that's an incredible service that we're able to offer people that without this technology we can never do. And the support that is given and the training centers that are around, um, anybody can actually adopt this technology and actually very easily learn how to in incorporate it and implement it into their practices. As the Vita blocks have evolved, we've gone from opacity to translucency, from colors that really didn't match tooth color all that well to ones that really blend exceptionally well. And I've used various other materials along the way and I've found consistently that I can achieve the kind of results that I want simply without a lot of extra work and it's very intuitive to work with them. We have the Accent Stain Kit, which allows us to add color, increase chroma, and generally give a gradient blend onto the surface of the restoration. But we also have the VM9 system, which allows us to do cutback and layering, so we can do extreme modifications. So the Vita product gives us the gamut from simple monochrome materials where the aesthetics are not extremely necessary and they're not extremely critical, 
we can go from those types of restorations all the way up to the most critical anterior restorations that have high degrees of translucency and incisal shaping. The aesthetics and the, the wear and just their whole track record is why we have chosen to stick with the Vita blocks and have been extremely satisfied. One of the reasons that I, I love the Vita block and the Vita line of, of products is that um, Vita blocks come in various types of blocks. We have the Vita Mark II block, we have Vita Zirconia blocks, we have Vita Inseram blocks. Um, and to me, the, the really exciting thing is that I'm now able to pick a material to mill for the type of restoration that I feel like I need to make that's going to give the patient the best benefit. I think the, using the Vita blocks in our practice has provided restorations that are the best that we can offer in today's dentistry for our patients. And it has been cost savings in the fact that we can do them efficiently. In bringing all of this technology into our office, we've actually become our own dental lab. And so we've actually learned about what the true costs are of making teeth. We actually understand what goes into that whole process. And I can honestly say that, that the CEREC technology and the, and the, with the in-lab and with the regular CEREC 3D technology, um, we really haven't even skipped a beat as far as profitability. There's no question in my mind and in my practice that CAD CAM technology, CEREC specifically, has been a, a, a money generator. And there are very few pieces of technology in dentistry today that we can say actually make us money. Vita's ideas, products, and business insights continually reshape dentistry by inventing and refining important new technologies, investigating emerging opportunities, and having the collective wisdom to combine the present day with a visionary purpose that commands a better future. The future for me is not to retire, but to continue working because the enjoyment is so much better than it ever has been. The CAD CAM technology is here to stay. Uh, uh, Werner Merman was always focused on putting automation into the hands of the dentist, uh, always interested in turning a complex procedure into a single office visit and having it be at least as high a quality as what you could get from the dental laboratory. The future of, uh, of CAD CAM is very bright. Uh, I think that uh, with this generation of uh, systems for the laboratory, almost every dentist is going to be using some sort of, of milled restoration in, in their practice. I see Vita as being a very innovative company who has taken us from ground zero as pioneer all the way to the end where we are right now. Well, we're actually not at the end. We're actually only at the beginning of the development and direction that we can go with things. And the innovation that they've taken to increase the aesthetic results that we get is really where CAD CAM is going now. I think this technology is where dentistry is, is going. I believe that if, if you're going to be practicing for another 10 to 15 years, um, CAD CAM technology is going to be in the forefront of what you what we all do as dentists. One of the additional possibilities with CAD CAM systems for the future is that uh, we may be able to completely eliminate the physical impression that's needed to make large restorations. CAD CAM is going to be the staple of the restorative dental office in the future. Five to ten years, maybe even sooner, we're going to see this in just about every dental office. Everybody's playing catch up to Vita and uh, into the CEREC technology. And the improvements that we've seen just in the six years have been just, uh, just tremendous. We will continue to be forefront users of any technology that can further benefit our patients. Vita has secured its place as the leading market force by never resting on previous accomplishments. The goal of Vita continues to be the creation and manufacture of the strongest, most aesthetic machinable ceramics in the world. One Vita block at a time.